15 laws of Moses, okay? Ten of them were written by the finger of God in stone, immutable, okay? The other 603 were written on parchment paper put on the outside of the ark. And basically, I, I'm an nth degree guy, so I'm just going to say it this way, it was 603 ways to keep Sabbath. Okay? But when you, when you get focused on these outer perimeter things, you lose focus on what they were designed to protect, which is the commandments of God. You see? This is why the Jews had such a problem with Jesus. Because people are cared, they're being healed on the Sabbath. Wait a minute. Don't you pick a sheep up out of a hole on the Sabbath day? Why wouldn't you make a man whole on the Sabbath day if he's sick or hurting? They were so stuck on these 603 laws, you can only walk so many steps. You couldn't do this, you couldn't do that. They lost sight of what they were trying to protect. And I'm not saying they were bad people. The rabbis and the teachers had good intentions. But even the best intentions end up screwing up the cake mix, so to speak. You forget what you're doing, why you're there. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. Very good way to put it. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. All right, I'm going to go on verse 9. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Who's that? Christ Jesus, right? And ye are what? Complete, Complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. We need to be spiritually minded, brothers and sisters, and we're only going to be spiritually minded if our focus is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Because he is, he's the question behind every answer. Amen. And he's the answer of every real question. Um, let us go to Zechariah 4, 6. No, you don't need to. Not by power, it says, right? But by what? My spirit. Not by power, nor by might. But by my spirit. Say a little bit, right? So he's the one doing the battle, right? Now, I'm not doing the battle. He's doing the battle. So here again, my part is yes and thank you. Right? <laughs> I mean, that's it, really. Yes and thank you. Because the Lord's going to fight the battle. He really is. He wants to fight our battle. Um, let's turn to Galatians real quick. Galatians chapter 5, just a little bit to your left. Galatians chapter 5, uh, go to 16. This I say then, what? Walk in the Spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. Walk in the Spirit. How do you walk in the Spirit? It's always easy to say that. How do you do it? Focus on Jesus. Fall in love with Jesus. And there will be no more problem. Because any problem that you'll have, it's His to take care of. Right? He's never lost a battle. Yeah, I, don't go there now, but if you're one of them kind of A students that writes everything down, I want you to study 1 John chapter 3 and chapter 5, which will help solidify this whole thing that we're talking about here today. Um, uh, let's go to John 16. John chapter 16. In verse 33, very last verse of chapter 16, it says, These things have I spoken unto you that in me ye might have what? Peace in the world. You shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Amen. So he's given us everything we need to overcome the world. And I'm wrapping it up here. Romans 5. Romans chapter 5. Romans chapter 5. And verse 35. No. No. 3. Romans 5. 
Romans chapter 5. It's supposed to be 3 through 5. I said 35. Can't read my own writing. <laughs> All right. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation, also knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Speaking to me. Speaking to me. And patience, experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Amen? Brothers and sisters, I want you to know that Bible truth is truth regardless of the messenger. Okay? Regardless of the messenger. You say, well, how do you look at it? Or how do I look at it? Does that matter? What matters is how does God look at it? Right? That's what matters. How does God look at it? He's, act, he's asked us to be perfect as he is perfect. Let us turn to Philippians real quick. Like I said, I'm winding down. We're almost there. Philippians chapter 1 and verse 21. What's that say? You ought to know that. For unto me to live is Christ. What? And to die is gain. To die is gain. Hebrews 6. Hebrews 6 and 1. Therefore, leaving the princip principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and faith toward God. Amen? Amen. And Matthew 48 says to be ye perfect. That's where we started this, correct? Yeah. But let us go, and this is for my last scripture, I promise. Luke chapter 6. This is Luke's version of that same scripture in Matthew. Luke chapter 6. Luke chapter 6 and verse 36. And it says, Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. So, being perfect has something to do with being merciful, huh? Yeah. Some of us have a harder time with that than others. Me being one of them. Most type A's. Yeah. Strengths and weaknesses. Be therefore merciful as your Father in heaven is also merciful. That's my prayer for all of us today. That we would leave this place being merciful toward one another. Seeking Christ as first and foremost in our lives. That we might be the people he's called us to be. Because you know what? Jesus isn't coming until he has a people ready to receive him. He must be vindicated. For this whole thing is for nothing. God has got to be proved true and just in everything he's ever said and done. He is the one who has put himself on trial. Can you imagine that? That is amazing to me. Him who has the last word. Him who says and cannot lie because his word is so powerful if he speaks it, it is. He says, judge me. Wow. That's a mighty God. Our closing song will be 151.
There was a verse that I heard this morning when I chose this song that says that we walk this valley alone. We don't walk anywhere alone. Okay? And, and I love the fact that that our, our hymnals trim off the things that don't line up with Scripture. Praise God. Let us stand and have this last song. This, if you might notice, in the top left-hand corner, this says American White Spiritual. I love the name of Spiritual. So this is the